Um, I'm going to show you what happens if we try to install CivAssist 2 without doing this first. Uh, here's our CivAssist 2 setup. And CivAssist 2, if you're not familiar with it, is um, again a helper program. It doesn't give you information you can't get from the game itself, but it's a lot more convenient. It rolls it up for you in a summary. Uh, Alright, so it gives you, oh no, it doesn't have the .NET framework. Now, actually, it probably does have all the files we need, but CivAssist doesn't know that. Um, I don't know where to get this. I've got it. This is .NET FX. Um, let me show you the version of it here. So it wants this 1.1.4322. So I've got .NET FX for 1.1.4322. Um, again, I'm not sure we can download this these days, but I've got it left over from um, uh, when I had you know Civ 3 installed before. I actually minimized everything by shaking the, the uh, window. So, so air it out on us. So what we need to install this .NET FX. It's asking me for confirmation. Yes. Yes. Uh, this says this program has known compatibility issues. Um, this software has known compatibility. So if, you, if you're running an internet server on your game machine, you might want to check into that more. I'm going to go ahead and run the program. Because again, this, this was made for an older XP, not, not Windows 7. But from my experience, it doesn't seem to hurt anything to go ahead and install it. It's just some extra libraries that CivAssist uses. Okay. So that those help files we needed for CivAssist 2 are now installed, which was this step here. And now we're going to install CivAssist 2. Installer will guide you next. Okay, and again, for CivAssist, we want to change where it goes. Um, install it so everyone can use it. Browse. Um, C users public games. I'm gonna make a new folder. Okay, I'm picky about capitalization sometimes. Alright, so that's where I want it. Civisys 2. Uh, next. It's asking me for confirmation to install something. Uh, yes. Okay. Civisys 2 is installed. Let's try it out. And I recall needing to set compatibility mode for this one, but uh, we shall see. Yeah, so we're getting access errors. So I'm going to quit. Uh, right click on the icon properties. Um, compatibility mode and again you can set it here but that just fixes that one icon if I want I want to fix this permanently for everybody for any you know so I'm going to the application itself um, tell you what, I'll, just, I'll start over again any window computer C users public games now we're in Civisys 2 and I want the application that's the icon it says application so I'm going to right click on the application itself go to properties uh, the compatibility tab I want to change settings for all users so in case I ever add another user to this computer that they can run it without having to change anything so I'm going to run this program for compatibility mode for XP service pack 3 there's a lot of options in here but we'll just stick with that one uh, I'm not worried about these other things. OK. OK. All right. Now when I run this, it's going to ask me for confirmation because it's running in compatibility mode. So I have to hit yes. It's going to black out the screen and say, hey, are you sure you're going to run this with elevated security or you know, privileges? All right. So it's running. Let's see. We'll start a game see what it says.
Okay, load a game. And I'm going to take a couple of turns that, because these, these uh, helper programs operate off the of save files, so I've got a, a turn or two going by, and then go check on the uh, assist. And looky there, we got our information, we've got our known world map. Now we can, you know, look at our OCP rings or whatever you want. Uh, I love the trades when you actually get into playing the game. Uh, if if you want to set up, okay, those are the auto saves are. Oh, okay, we're good then. So we're working. This is it is once you use one of these helper programs, it's really hard to play this game without it, just because you know trades are running out. Um, someone snuck on your territory and you didn't notice. Uh, things like that. <laughs>